What's up, Docs and Docats? Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed Looney Tunes critic here. And did Criss Cross inspire Space Jam? Of course. I mean, of course it did. And uh, we're going to discuss it today on your daily dose of What's Up Dockery. It's Riding the Shield. <laughs> So I guess a little backstory is needed. Uh, if you don't know who Criss Cross is, uh, that would be these gentlemen right here, or wherever I put them. Um, they're covering up my currently not in use set. Um, useless set. Uh, they said use less set, so I said how about a useless set? Criss Cross will make you jump. The Mac Dad will make you jump. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, it was kind of a novelty act. Um, they they wore their uh, their pants and clothes, all their clothes backwards. Um, they just didn't they didn't believe in, in wearing clothing and doing things in a conventional way. I'm somewhat inspired by that today, clearly. But um, so um, they they were a, they were a fad, even though they would tell you not to compare them to another bad little fad. Uh, in, which is a reference to another bad creation, which was another uh, hip hop group that had a bunch of kids in it, basically. Um, and so, the first, the first of those Looney Tunes. I mentioned this in an earlier uh, ride in the shield. The first of those Looney Tunes in hip hop gear, um, and it was like, you know, early '90s, uh, was uh, like I want to say '91. Um, the very first one to appear anywhere was this one with Bugs and Taz. And if you'll notice, they're wearing the clothes backwards. Much like Criss Cross. I believe, and I'm going to continue to believe, and I hope... Uh, Hope you'll look into it yourself. That um, these T-shirts, these these um, these hip hop T-shirts, even though they didn't start being as as, as officially licensed, um, they they did sell very very well. And something tells me that they were what led to the Hair Jordan ads, um, because it seems very cynical and very, you know. And I'm not saying that, you know. I'm not saying that Warner Brothers executives in 2021 have a firm grasp on understanding of, of what people who love hip hop think and feel and blah 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 and what they'll go to see. But I am saying that um, I am saying that uh, they must have looked at it and thought, well, there's obviously a, a market there for you know young young hip, young hip hop fans. Um, so you know and. They're all, a lot of them are basketball fans, too. A lot of them watch the games. And, you know, Jordan's the number one basketball player in the world right now. So what if we did something, you know, with the Looney Tunes and Air Jordan? And then there you go. That's Air Jordan. And then the next thing you know, here we are all this time later. And they have made a sequel to Ready Player One. So if you follow all of that logic, then yes, you can see how one could uh, conclude rather sillily, I like me, I'm silly, uh, that um, Criss Cross inspired Space Jam in a roundabout way. Uh, why don't you talk about that? Talk about it in the in the comments. I know you guys like to talk about me and my silly hair in the comments, so um, talk about that too. Do you think it's it's possible in some kind of way that uh, that uh, crisscross this forgotten hip hop novelty act? Did it inspire Space Jam? I think the answer is yes. Talk about that in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. 
Do you follow that logic? Be sure to follow us. That's what I was trying to say earlier. I'm very tired. I've been working very hard and uh, working very hard to come up with an original hairstyle. This is all I could do. Maybe I'll get it next time on your daily dose of What's Up Dockery, Riding the Shield. See you guys next time.